Have you ever dreamed of the perfect SUV, which is not only spacious and well-built, but also like super aesthetically pleasing and, you know, could be used to take family road trips or live the ideal van life? Well, I'd say it's time to stop dreaming because this could... Oh an infomercial salesman. <laughs> Anyways, this could become a reality for you with the upcoming Kia Concept EV9. Today, we'll be discussing the Kia Concept EV9, which teases the new top-of-the-line electrical automobile for the company's rapidly increasing electric car lineup and its unique features, making it one of a kind. With that out of the way, let's proceed to our interesting topic. The Concept EV9, which was unveiled with the technologically equivalent and identically situated Hyundai 7 concept at the Los Angeles Auto Show, is likely to go into production outside of the United States around 2024. Although the EV9 will be based on the very same eGMP framework as the EV6 and the Hyundai Ioniq 5, it'll be a much bigger version of its foundations. It's a little smaller than the Telluride, but it has a much larger chassis and a larger ride height. Hyundai will also produce its very own model of this SUV, dubbed as the Ioniq 7, which will use the same parts as the EV9. Although these features are amazing, the unique feature which actually makes this EV so special hasn't been discussed. Yet. Anyways. So, to know more about what makes it so unique, you might want to continue watching. Let's first start by discussing the distinct features that make it so hype-worthy. And like we said, stay till the end. You better. I'm gonna cry. I can't do anything about it. Dang. But the best is always safe for last, so you might as well stick around. Kia's electrical range is a great deal of potential, and this is a popular feature. The convertible EV6 is Kia's upcoming electric vehicle, and it follows the same nomenclature. The show car made its debut at the Los Angeles show on Wednesday, where it has been praised for its spectacular skylight, its expansive cabin, and its large dashboard panel. The Kia EV9 will also be constructed on a global electric adaptable framework. This SUV, according to the manufacturer, has a distance of up to 483 kilometers on a single battery charge. With the SUV, the company will include a 350 kilowatt charger. The generator is supposed to be capable of charging the SUV's battery from 10% to 80% in 30 minutes. The proportions of the EV9 suggest that it will be similar in size to Kia's latest SUV, the Telluride. This has a length of 196.9 inches, and the EV9 has a length of 194. The EV9 has three rows of seats, but a larger base than the three-row Telluride, uh, suggesting that the EV9 will have additional passenger room. According to how the car is operated, the EV9's interior can be set to a few of three modes. When the vehicle is moving, active mode uses a regular seating arrangement, while pause and enjoy settings provide a leisure environment where the car is parked. Pause mode spins the front chairs to face the rear seat, whereas the second row seats retract into a desk. These modes are one of the top selling points. The third row seats pivot to the front of the lift gate, which opens to an expansive lounging experience in enjoy mode. In all three modes, a huge transparent roof enables riders to connect to nature. The EV6 shares the eGMP devoted EV architecture with the Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Kia has stated that at least two further electric uh, SUVs will be released beside the EV6 by 2025. As a result, the concept EV9 may show off more than one car. The EV9's SUV general design is influenced by water, with an external hue that resembles the boundless depths of the ocean. Inside, the reversible chairs are upholstered with recycled plastic and wool, while the floor is composed of abandoned fishing nets. And also energy roof rails, 22-inch three-spoke wheels, and Kia's digital tiger face font are among other highlights. For the present, there aren't that many technological specifics available. Kia simply repeats Hyundai's promise of a 300-plus mile range and 350-kilowatt uh, fast charging in the production model. Given the use of cameras instead of the conventional side mirrors, we know that this design is slightly below 5 meters long and more than 2 meters wide. While it may seem kind of weird or whatever to talk about aerodynamics on a large slab-sided structure, there are a few more changes that should render the EV9 somewhat, like, extra flexible. The roof slats, for instance, are foldable when not in use, and the absence of traditional grille and uh, the addition of a new ventilation system in the front appear to significantly enhance airflow, so you're never gonna be too steamy in this bad boy. The sharp edge exterior aesthetic, according to Kia, is inspired by patterns of crystalline and rocks. It doesn't require a regular grille aperture because it's an electric vehicle. Instead, a nude colored bar runs across the bridge at the top. Wherever the lights in this area are not in use, they're hidden. When the individual arrives, the driver is greeted by frequent patterns of brightness. 
and there are rectangular daylight driving lights on the outer rim. The D pillars at the back are triangular and the rear lights are Y-shaped. And one of the very few rounded portions of the layout is the particularly low part of the front tailgate. A 27-inch broad touchscreen controls all multimedia, air controls, and, and comfort functions. Instead of treating the uh, steering column as a different product, the designers viewed it as an expansion of the remainder of the interior. The EV9 concept is on display through November 28th at Automobility LA and the LA Auto Show. The idea is that Kia introduced the EV9 concept with certain dark images and designs, and the news it would stop supplying combustion engine vehicles by 2035, with the goal becoming uh, towards more carbon neutral by 2045. The EV9 is Kia's version of a seven-seat electric car based on the eGMP framework, similar to a Hyundai 7 idea currently on show at the LA Auto Show. This is a step towards a greener automobile industry. The concept EV9 has a distance of up to 300 miles, as well as it's like its lesser EV6 sister, it can be charged super quick. According to Kia's calculations, a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger can charge the car from 10 to 80% in 20 to 30 minutes. The EV9's projected range is similar to that of the EV6. However, Kia claims that the EV6's rapid charge time of under 18 minutes at BT dubs to get to 80% is 10% marginally quicker. Now, let's come to the main two features that make it so futuristic and refreshing. The full-size SUV includes two rows of seats in the back that can unfold and tuck away for various configurations. You can, for example, arrange the seat to resemble a lounge room while recharging. So yeah, you don't want to just stand outside propped up against your car awkwardly. Just take a nap inside of the therapy seats in the back of your car. The battery has a range of 300 miles. Plus, there's a solar panel on the bonnet for extra, you know, oomph. The addition of the solar panel is a feature that adds an element of eco-friendly technology to the power of the vehicle that just it compounds the futuristicness. And not only that, the EV9's commitment to sustainability extends far beyond the zero emissions technology. The manufacturer uses sustainable or recycled elements for the car's interiors, which are largely obtained from ocean waste. Well, also recycled fishing nets are used for the flooring, and plastic bottle and wool fibers are transformed into the vehicle seat's fabric, and vegan leather replaces actual leather. This makes it very environmentally friendly also, as it uses predominantly recycled and reused materials and still provides luxury that one would need. Hopefully, this will pave a path for more sustainable automobiles, as they truly are the need of the hour. Now that we've talked about the features and characteristics of this electrical vehicle, let's talk about its availability. Hopefully, our US viewers will be elated to know that the Kia EV6, which will be available in stores in the United States later this year, wow, that did not come out as good English, but we're keeping it. Anyways, that will be one of the first uh, available new electric vehicles. According to Kia, the super sleek compact SUV will be accessible in all 50 states. So don't you worry if you're in a weird one like Hawaii. The EV6 will most likely be Kia's first fully large-scale EV for the United States, as this wasn't always the scenario with prior Kia EVs. Lastly, to summarize the features, the interior, as dramatic as the appearance is, is what really gets people's attention. A spectacular roof not only lets the skies in, and the dashboard is dominated by a large, dynamic 27-inch ultra-wide touchscreen display for all the maximum driving distraction you could ever need. Not really. The oval wheel is also foldable, and the ambient illumination is used throughout the cabin to set the mood. Recycled and sustainable materials, like we talked about with the fishnets and whatnot, and the vegan leather, are all used very liberally throughout the interiors. The decor, which uh, Kia claims incorporates natural characteristics, motion, and calm as a part of the picturesque first-class lounge, also has three modes. Whenever the EV9 is in motion, active guarantees that the occupants of the vehicle are safe and are having a grand old time. And then you pop a button on the console and all the chairs spin around in like James Bond style to face each other in pause mode. And the back row can be folded into a tabletop. Enjoy mode not only rotates all these seats backwards, but also lifts the tailgate, allowing passengers to engage with outside surroundings and stare out into the vast beyond outside the vehicle. Although this is just a prototype, it does indicate that Kia would most certainly release an electric-powered crossover in the coming years. Nevertheless, you may just have to wait for this innovation to hit the markets, and that also at high prices, be sure to hoard your pockets. That doesn't, that's English weird. Be sure to make sure you stock up. There you go. Comment down below what you guys think, and uh, make sure you're subscribed. Keeping it brief. Adios, muchachos.